Are you humble? Raise your hand if you're humble. <laughs> oh, we have a few courageous ones here. But most of you think humility is like underwear. Essential, but should remain hidden. Are you struggling to find success in your career, in your relationships, in winning speech contests? Perhaps humility is the key for your success. Every day we put on underwear. It's part of our plan to dress for success. <laughs> to be humble every day is a lot scarier. Do you fear being humble might lead to feelings of humiliation and shame? None of us want to lose face. Contest chair. Humble friends and the courageous ones that raise their hands. <laughs> Charlie, you broke the bail stacker again. Get it fixed. All you do is cost me money. Dad, I'm 17 years old. Can't I do anything right? My dad just walked away. I was ashamed. But I vowed someday I would build a stacker I couldn't break. And you know what? By the time I was 24, I had built an unbreakable stacker. I started a company to manufacture and market my machine. I was going to make millions. Four years later, I was on my knees, dirt poor, depressed, and divorced. Curled up on the floor, I, flipped on the t I turned on the TV. The TV preacher said, right now you're curled up on the floor, divorced and depressed without a dime to your name. <laughs> He's talking to me. You just experienced a major failure and you're stuck in the ditch of shame. How did he know that? Reach out your hand and I will lift you up onto the humble road. What good will that do me? Walking on the humble road will lead you to your riches. Yeah, right. And how will I know if I'm on the humble road? For every mile of road, there's two miles of ditches. <laughs> Life ain't fair. <laughs> the secret to walking on the humble road is to stay out of the ditches. One ditch is shame and the other ditch is... Just then the TV went blank. What was the other ditch? I needed to know. Have you ever, then I realized I was yelling at a TV. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? A few months later, Tom, an investor, asked, Charlie, what does your machine do exactly? Tom, it does, Tom, it does what every farmer needs done with a bale of hay. It stacks, it feeds, it retrieves. Charlie, Charlie. Have you ever heard the story of the Etzel car? In the 1950s, Ford tried to make one car that would meet the needs of all of its customers. It was a family sedan and a sports car. Visualize it, Charlie. The family going out for a Sunday drive. Dad behind the wheel. Honey, this car corners like it's on rails. Slow down, dear, you're scaring the kids. The kids are in the back seat sliding back and forth. <laughs> we know seat belts. Charlie, even Ford couldn't sell a bipolar car. You're trying to sell a tripolar stacker? Tom, I know what farmers want and need. Charlie, because you're arrogant, I'm out. Perhaps arrogance is the other ditch. Stay out of the ditches to find your riches. Arrogance is the other ditch. Tom, I've decided to build just a stacker. A few months later, I was trying to sell a stacker to Joe. Joe looked over my machine and said, Looks cheap, Charlie. Ouch. Charlie, did you know the man who started John Deere 
had the model to build the best machine that was within him to build, I believe there's a better stacker in you. John Deere is now a multi-billion dollar company. Hmm. Joe, thanks. I've decided to build the best machine that is within me to build. Stay out of the ditches, say it with me, to find your riches. My friends kept me on the humble road and helped me to change. And because I changed, my stackers changed into three amazing marketable machines. Within 10 years, my business went from zero to a multi-million dollar corporation selling stackers all over the world. But more valuable to me were the friends I made. Ah, they were priceless. <laughs> Stay out of the ditches to find your riches. Does a memory of your last speech make you want to hide? <laughs> then reach out your hand. All of you, reach out your hands. Take the hand of the friend next to you and lift them up onto the humble road and then start walking. And soon you'll be walking on sunshine, whoa, we're walking on sunshine, whoa, whoa, and don't it feel good, hey. Remember the next time you put on your underwear to find your riches, stay out of the ditches. Contest chair.